Hey guys, it's Brian again, uh, continuing on with our HTML tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to make the page look better. So far we've just had these boring, plain, white web pages. So how do you change the color? How do you change the way it looks? Uh, for this tutorial, you're going to need an image. Um, any image will do. I've already downloaded one for a background image. Uh, just take a second, pause the video, go find one. Now when you get back, what we're going to talk about today is the body tag. The body tag controls everything in the body and what it's going to look like. So let's say, first thing we want to do is change the background color. So we'll say BG color equals, and let's say black. We want a black web page. Save it. Go to our web page. Refresh. Well, now we have a black web page, but where did our text go? Well, it's still there. It's just our text is black, so you can't see it. Well, let's fix that. Now we want to add text equals, and we'll say white. Save it. Refresh, and there's your text. Now we want to add a background image. Now this comes into that image I told you about earlier. To do that, it's just background equal, and then in quotes, remember you have to put the path my image dot j no, it was a gif wasn't it now you might be wondering what type of images you can use you can use a gif a jpeg a png there's multiple image formats uh, really i like using jpgs because you can compress them down make them much smaller make your web pages load faster uh, gifs and pngs are popular because you can animate them you've seen the little animated images out on the web uh, most of those are you know gifs or pngs PNG is popular because GIF, GIFs, are actually copyrighted, so we're not supposed to be using this image format, but it's okay. For this demonstration, we'll allow it. Go back to our web page, F5, and you see there's our awesome background that we've borrowed off the internet with Hello World. Now, let's just add in some elements that we've learned from previous tutorials. Oops. And let's just kind of really quickly slap all this together. And you see I'm typing rather hurriedly. My cat is trying to get my attention and she's really annoying. Go away kitty. I'm not sure if you guys can hear meowing in the background. For some reason, she only wants my attention when I start typing. It's because she knows I'm not going anywhere. Okay, now we've got our our web page with a black background, white text, and our image. Now you might be asking, what's the point of having a black background and an image at the same time? Well, while the image is loading, you might want to change the color. Something similar to what your background image is going to be. We're going to have Hello World. We're going to have it in Arial. Whoops, we forgot a quote. We're going to have it in red, and the size is going to be 7. Hard return, then our Chuck Norris image, two hard returns, and then just the text Chuck image. So let's see what this looks like. Hello World, Chuck Norris with the text Chuck Norris. Now remember, this text right here is actually part of the image. We can't edit that. Okay, I lied. Technically, you can load up Photoshop and edit it, but for this tutorial, you're not editing it. So I hope you found this tutorial educational and entertaining. I'm sorry about the cat swatting at everything. Um, my hope is that you see now how some of these web pages you've seen out on the internet are actually built and how easy it is to put all this together. Thank you for watching.